I'm of the younger generation. We've grown up for the past 20 years with a fairly good propaganda machine, which led us to believe that we were all Singaporeans, regardless of race, language, and religion. Recently, however, you have government ministers questioning the loyalty of certain segments of our society to this nation. You have government concern at differential reproductive rates among the different races. You have talk of topping up deficits in these reproductive rates. And you have all these figures and playing of games with numbers as to how to ossify the racial proportions in Singapore, as if that was some kind of magic formula for stability. You can't expect people to be loyal to you when you question their loyalty outright at the beginning as your first premise. That is the surest way of creating a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'd like to go back to the questions raised by Vivian. The way I perceive it is that for the first 25 years anyway, the focus was on developing that common culture, a strong bond within. And um, of late, the emphasis has been maybe slightly shifted, and it's moved over to emphasizing the individual cultural identities, perhaps as a realization that um, we were losing what little we had by trying to forge something. So it may be a difference of perception rather than one of a propaganda machine putting forward a certain line, trying to get to the first level of common unity, and then from there on trying to develop the individual cultural identities and hope that the common cultural identity will evolve slowly. How can you get to the first level by questioning someone's loyalty? Granted, you cannot question loyalty if you want loyalty, but... At the same time, if you feel, now I, I do not say that I agree or disagree with this, but let me put this as a hypothesis. If you feel that a certain factual matrix exists, is it better to face it and see how you can overcome the problem, or is it better to avoid it and not talk about it? But that's precisely the problem. What evidence does the government have, or what facts does the government have to make a statement questioning the loyalty of certain segments of our society. I don't think that statement was ever made. I think that's the way some people have perceived it. I think what was said was <clears throat> with a frank attitude of trying to discuss the issue of why um, maybe, you know, the we have to try and bring the Malaysian into the street, mainstream and why they are not in that sort of question and answer section, I think, has been blown out of proportion into one of questioning the loyalty.